welcome back to the channel we are doing some Euro truck 2 and I'm going to pick this excavator delivery it's 567 kilometers uh, there was a lot of them and they were on the high side as far as mileage goes so I said well let's do this one so let's begin Oh, of course it's raining. Okay, where's my trailer at? I don't like how I'm approaching this, so we're going to do a little loop-de-loop -loop in here because uh, we're at the ferry crossing, interesting. Well, oh, Christ, it's not even all that much better. Here we go. Let's line it up a little bit. I wanted to stop and then look first, but of course that didn't happen. But no harm, no foul, I guess. Let's get ourselves back in our environment here where it's a little easier for me to see and drive. Hopefully this will go pretty decent. It's an excavator so I don't know what the, how wide it's going to be. I'm assuming it will be a little wider than... Not sure I don't know the roads well so we're kind of driving a little blind here <laughs> expected when you have to do stupid stuff like I just had to do because I didn't realize where I was at and we're supposed to be all the way in the right lane I tried to stop in the median or not the median there's no median there but the white painted lines I was going to stop there and then wait for me to be able to get in but of course that didn't work out Oh well. I see the uh, developers don't drive so well either, so. Yeah, I'm having an awful day driving today. I don't know what the hell's going on with me. This is going to be a very interesting uh, little run here. Well, I moved my pedal set up. I think that's not helping. I was used to it being more to the right but I thought too, that's kind of hokey having it to the right when you're driving in a car or truck your wheel setup your pedal setup is always underneath or in line with the seat and the wheel itself having it offset I thought was kind of hokey but the problem is I got used to it that way I 
no cars. Yeah, I'm having a real blast today. See how many accidents we're going to get into today. Just, just, just coming to get the the trailer has been an adventure. And this narrow ass road that we're on ain't helping matters. Seems like every time I play Euro, there's more problems than anything else because the roads are narrower and it's a little more stressful. It's actually loosened up my wheel. The last time I played Euro, it loosened up my wheel. And that's why I was thinking I shouldn't be playing this because it's just too wackadoo. But let's, uh, let's try to complete this delivery. Pick it up first, obviously. Take this a little offset just because that's just the way the day is going. All right, let's see if we can get this wheel tightened up so we can finish this shit up. I don't want to repeat the last one. I think this wheel loosens up over time. It just loosens up because of the the uh, the rumbles and the turns and so forth. So yeah, all right, we got 500 and something kilometers to go. Um, let's see. Uh, all right, let's pause this for a second. I think we have a beacon. I remember having beacons on here. I thought I got a beacon for this uh, truck. Alright, then we're going to do with hazards then. It's kind of a bummer. We're hauling this kind of stuff. I should have... I don't think I ever went to the, the place to get it repaired, and, and, and that's what I should have done. Let's get out of that and uh, get back on the road here. Without a beacon, we'll have to run it four ways. Or run the four ways, I meant. Boy, you can't get out of this freaking place. This is awful. See if that's wide enough. I think it is. So I have to be more careful with that. I got it hooked up on the dang fence. I should have swung it wider. You really get um, you really get a driving lesson sometimes hauling these uh, bigger loads. The best thing to do is not to panic. Is to uh, Sometimes get overhead view or um, or di get a different view to see how you can make yourself get out of it. Last thing you want to do is cancel a load. I've had to do that before. I don't know how it works in World of Trucks. This is a World of Trucks delivery, so you 
definitely don't want to make that like your first option. It's like the last option. But if we are near a repair facility, I plan on, uh, you know, if, it's, if we're able to swing in and do it, I'll do it. I'll get a beacon put on this son of a gun so we can uh, have a proper uh, setup here. If that's impossible to do, however, then we're just going to do the delivery with our hazards on to make it as legit as we can. Didn't see anybody coming, so let's hope that's uh, still the case. All right, looks like we're good for now. We're at uh, 1600 hours, that's uh, I think four o'clock. So we've got some daylight left, not money, or not much. Yeah, I didn't even look, but at least we didn't wipe anybody off the road like we did with that poor white car. Yeah, they're supposed to be adding some really big uh, oversized loads that in these updates coming up. And I'm, I'm going to assume that those are going to be World of Truck updates. Or maybe not, I don't know. We'll find out soon enough, I guess, when the new update comes out. And it's supposed to be for ATS and ETS. Uh, that being said, I, I plan on doing one of those. That'll be awesome. Or one of those, I'm going to do several of them. In this case, I've, I've often said how, like, when you have, like, wide loads, you're supposed to have a follow car and all of that. Well, they're kind of taking it a step further with these loads because these are loads that they are going to close the road down. And that would be awesome because there are some trips that you make with these rigs that you can't... Uh, Yeah, I wish they'd have more of those uh, gate-free ones to just drive through. But yeah, they'll shut the road off, they'll shut the side roads off, they'll prevent any traffic, so you have free freedom for the whole road. So that way if you're hauling some, I don't know, a, a wind turbine or something that takes up your lane, and part of the other lane, well then you don't have to worry about that. And they've picked the routes out especially so you will be able to uh, navigate it without having to go through a toll if you're an ETS. Oh, the rain has stopped, nice. Yeah, we'll take that off. Be hearing that bing, bing, bing forever. Try to keep this on the on the down low here and not uh, screw up anymore in this uh, particular episode. Uh, I've already uh, made a huge mistake in the. Uh, waypoint and drove the wrong way and had to do a little janky move to get across the road and hit somebody but stuff happens I guess right
Let's see what these uh, filling stations up here look like. If they're decent enough, I think we can use them. Yeah, let's take a chance on it. Because we kind of need to slow the hell down. Jeez. I had to slam on the brakes because we were flying in there too fast. Now that's the way a filling station should be. E. Fill it up. I think we have enough, but I was like, I don't want to do the thing where I, you know, constantly at the point where we possibly run out. It's kind of stupid. That way, that's one less thing that we need to, to uh, think about. Yeah, I'm noticing too that a lot of the world the truck runs, they're all long, long runs. And uh, I might start looking at the uh, in house, uh, you know, in non-online uh, type thing just to so I can pick some smaller ones because all my episodes have been so long you know I, I, I don't mind them it's just you you know you want more content but at the same time it's a it's a balance you know do you want episodes to be constantly around an hour I'd like them to be 30 to 45 minutes is my perfect window but they've been over uh, over 50 minutes to an hour, I'll, I'll just about every one of them. Because every one of these episodes, the uh, the options that we have are seven, eight, hundred kilometers. This one's 500 and something. This one's not bad. So it's about 300 miles, I think, three, three thirty or something. I'm just spitball and I'm just guessing well this one would probably be decent but the, the thing is is we've we've been at this for 17 minutes so far and we've only taken a hundred miles off or kilometers but it, as long as it's highway we should be decent You know, decent in regards to the you know miles coming off or kilometers. Is that another toll? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we're having a really good episode. How many speeding tickets? Yeah, this one does a forced one. Why can't they all be like we're... Come on, open up! Jeez, this thing is slow. I, I did, they should get rid of that and have them all be opened up where you just drive through. It comes out automatic. That way you don't need to stop this rig with all this weight on it. But it, it's a possibly possible that it's modeled after the uh, an actual toll, and that's the way they set it up. If that's the case, then keep it the way it is. But yeah, this one's got a bridge. There was a couple other. Um, damn, that was a hell of a bump. There was a couple other ones I was looking at that were I think there were Volvo excavators. I was going to do one of those. But it was 700, almost 800 kilometers, and I was really looking at doing another, you know, a, kind of a shorter, shorter run, if possible. And that one, it would have been over a ferry. It would have been through a ferry crossing, which is cool. We had, I think, our last episode of it was a ferry crossing, which was cool. 
I, I had never done that in the game yet before. And I don't even know if they have that in ATS at all. I haven't seen that thus far, but I've seen mods where you drive up to uh, Oregon, Portland, or, and then they'll use that like a ferry crossing to take you to Alaska, because that's how you get to Alaska in a lot of cases is through that. So uh, it'd be one way for them to, if they were ever to add Alaska, would be that way, unless, unless you have it to, uh, oh gosh, unless you have it where they uh, go through Canada, but then I don't know how you would call it American truck simulator if it's got Canada in it too. Yeah, I think our I think our lights are need to be on soon because I think we're gonna have a issue with sun going down and us not having our lights on and you get a fine for that too. They fine you for everything in this game. I'm definitely going to stop and get the uh, beacons and stuff put on this truck so we can uh, be, uh, you know, legit. If you're hauling something like this, you need, you know, your hazards work too. They, they serve as a beacon, but uh, if you have a beacon on your vehicle, you, you're seen for miles. If you've got your hazards on, they won't see you until they're practically up on top of you. So I'm just saying a beacon's a hell of a lot better. It's more uh, practical. All right, we set the cruise on. We'll see how long that lasts. Yeah, I see a repair facility. I'm not going to bother with a repair unless it's on the highway, and they don't have them on the highway. But I think after the delivery, if it's a quick delivery, I will jump in and uh, we will um, just drive over to a facility and get it, uh, get our beacon put on and then whatever truck repairs need to be done. Because after all, we did hit that car earlier in the episode. So, so there's that. Kind of like the lighting. Uh, they do a really good job when it comes to sunrises and sunsets, like that. Like where you're in the car, or in this case a truck, how the you know the light will really mess with you if you're in a right position, to the point where you can't really see very good. And they capture that real well. Yeah, see, that's why I hate doing this stupid cruise control. There's always something that comes up, and you got to react real quick. Luckily, I was able to do that without causing an accident myself. Because that truck was coming up on me, so... I was thinking we were going to have a problem there. It looks like it's another oil truck. Tanker truck. As I was saying, that sunlight, it, it, it's very well done.
Yeah, it has us in that right lane, but it looks like if we were in that tanker lane on the right, we would have had to jump over to the left probably really quickly too. That's why I don't pay any mind to that crap because they'll send you all over the dang place. I mean, I try to make sure I'm in the right place, but you know, we're coasting right up to 90 kilometers and these guys aren't even doing close to that. I think there's a merge up here and I bet you anything these people are going to be crazy about it. Sit in the middle of the interstate and merge. Crazy. So it's funny, I'm trying to get over to this middle lane and uh, cars are trying to pass me on the right and I'm like well I'm supposed to be passing on the left just saying that lane you don't want to be in anyway it's the wrong way to go Yeah, I'm definitely thinking we, we had probably enough fuel, but that fuel station was so easy and perfect to get in and out of. It was uh, perfect for a delivery like this because some of them fuel stations are pretty small. I'm trying to get a rig like this in there, not good. But I like how, I, the one thing I do, will say about Euro truck is they do make it easy for you if you need to get fuel in an American truck and that's just how it's set up a lot of their interstates don't have fuel stations on them you've got to pull off the interstate go into a town and navigate these streets and stuff before you can get fuel for your vehicle and if you're driving a normal car that's not a big yank but if you're driving something like this that's a big problem Well, it's kind of odd because it says it's 20, 29, 20, 29. Isn't that like uh, 9 o'clock or something? <laughs> we still got daylight out, so that's kind of an odd thing. I'll take it. I don't like dry night driving anyway. Or, wait a minute, uh... Or is it eight o'clock? I don't know. I, I I think it's hard to navigate this car, this uh, car, this tractor trailer with a load on it, and try to figure out what the hell time it is. I should just take that stupid uh, military crap off there. Military time. I'm not in the freaking military. Yeah. In fact, let's do that right now. <laughs> Gameplay. Time zones. Yep. There. And we've got that all straight. Let's get back in there and drive.
Oh yeah, so I was right, it was almost 9 o'clock. It is starting to get darker though. It must be set up for like, like middle summer when most uh, places are uh, daylight savings and all that, so. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't do that sooner. It just If that's how they have it over in uh, Europe, then that's on them. I don't need that here because I can tell time like the best of them, but I'm not in the military. We don't need the 24-hour clock. Well, we got a couple hundred kilometers left in this one, so it's not too bad. Yeah, they make sure you have a lot of gas stations along the way, so I guess we don't need to worry so much about fuel in this one because they seem to have them everywhere. Not sure if there's time limits in World of Trucks, but um, I know in regular deliveries there's limits on what you can, you know, if you wanted to rest and daytime and all that stuff. But if it could, you know, if it's wonky, you know, dark and raining and all that stuff, I usually will opt to uh, rest and set it up for daytime. I think I did that, I don't know, recently, and our delivery was late, so I'm going to try not to if I can help it. Because we want to be on time and have an excellent rating, so we get our rating up there. got the cruise set on I don't understand why they have to drive a, they have to coast down to 85 I think it was set at 75 or something like that I like the plane over there flying overhead that was cool must be a military near base <laughs> A military base nearby. Yeah, I'm mixing up my words. Gotta, gotta love it. Yeah, with 150 kilometers left, I think this is going to be our within our window of 50, uh, probably a more than our window. It seems like he, and I try to get even a short run, and it seems to take longer. I'm going to have to probably end up taking and uh, maybe doing part two of delivery or something like that, just so I keep the the videos a little shorter. But I like doing the one-offs because people get to see the delivery finished.
Gotta admit, the high beams work pretty good. One way they'll stay away, too. Actually, with, uh, come to think of it, 120 kilometers is what, about 70, 50, 70 miles, give or take? Yeah, this isn't going to be too bad. We're only 36 minutes in, so we're probably looking at another 10 minutes top, so it's not too bad. I'll add a beacon and all that stuff off off recording because I, I just thinking about it it's like kind of why uh, add that in there and you know it's extra 10 minutes of me screwing around I've done that so many times lately and it's just it's nonsense to have in there it's best to put that stuff in uh, not to have that stuff in there you know if you're if you're doing a uh, a live stream or something yeah that makes sense So we're supposed to get over to this one. All right, I'm getting over there, but I don't know if that's what I want to do because I'm not trustworthy, very trusting when it comes to these uh, GPS maneuvers they want us to do. I think we got to be in this lane because it looks like we got a loop-de-loop -loop up there. It's what I call it. Um, and it's going to flip us around and put us on a different highway, which is all right by me. So we're going to be doing that like right now. Better to be on the slower side, believe me. Because these roads are not set up for truckers at all. God dang it. planning on looking and I looked and there was a truck right there it's like holy crap certainly woke me up I thought I was sleeping or anything but all right so we got another make another right up here well, they got us going all over the place here. Got to be really awake. That's why a good truck running into you every now and again wakes you right up. 
Well, we don't want them to actually run into us, but you know what I mean, like uh, a little bit of a scare and kind of piques your, your mind alertness and all of that. Slow down. Okay, we got the red light up here. All right, so that means we'll have to sit there for 100, 100 hours. Christ, by the time we get through here, they'll probably already be changing. We made that all right. I see a question mark on the uh, horizon here. I'm wondering if it's a shop for fixing or a recruitment or is it an actual viewpoint? We have not seen any of those yet in this game. done this one so it's not too bad we survived another one we it's kind of crazy because uh, it's like oh we, we've we've got the delivery all done? It's like, no, not really. We, got to, we still got to deliver it. We haven't done that yet. And I'm like, I make myself nervous sometimes because I'll get all like, oh, we made it. And we still got three kilometers to go and we got to wait for this traffic light. So. We did all right with that. I wanted to come as close as I could to that sign without uh, actually hitting the stupid thing. Oh, there's a repair place close by, so good. I'll get that beacon added in after the delivery's done. Fire department's driving like he's going to a fire. Yeah, these same miles, if we were on the highway, we'd have burned those over in like 30 seconds. But now that we're in a city, we got to deal with all the, uh, the, the, the lights and such. Bad, did that all right? Yeah, pretty damn good at this game occasionally. Wow. So was that? Car come flying out of there. I'm kind of like, well, this is odd.
must be here. We'll try to do this one. I haven't had much luck with these lately. Well, supposedly they're supposed to be easy. Can we drive around in this thing? Surprisingly, we did it. it. Took long enough. Excellent. All right, an extra seventeen thousand, whatever, in our um, possession. All right, you know the drill. If you like the content, thumbs up, notification, and. Uh, all of that. Uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.